Naruto, 10 anime characters who would be the perfect Hokage. Only the most exemplary shinobi of Konoha are fit to be Hokage, but anime characters across series have proven themselves just as worthy. In Naruto, the Hokage is the leader of Konoha. Out of all the villages, Konoha was the first to grant such a title to their leader. All the major village leaders' titles include the word Kage, meaning shadow. Before a ninja can become Hokage, they have to show exceptional skill. Every Hokage must abide by a certain set of values and demonstrate their respect for the villagers they serve. A Hokage is expected to make great sacrifices to protect the people they care about, and there are many anime characters from beyond the world of Naruto who have displayed the necessary skill and character traits to be Hokage. 10. Levi Ackerman has proved himself in battle. Levi proved to be a capable warrior and became famous as humanity's strongest soldier. Though intelligent and skillful, he doesn't have a strong sense of teamwork. His personality might get in the way, since many people find his comments insulting. He has displayed a problem with authority in the past, something that could easily be a deterrent for an ambitious shinobi's career. Nevertheless, his amazing fighting abilities alone would make him a fantastic Hokage. 9. Olivier Mira Armstrong has leadership experience. Olivier Armstrong is known for her fearsome, no-nonsense demeanor. She has incredibly high standards, and no one under her command is allowed to show any signs of weakness. Despite this harsh personality, her effective leadership skills have earned her the respect of her men. Her experience leading others in a military setting would be beneficial in dealing with the warring villages in the Naruto universe. Under her leadership, she would ensure the shinobi of the Hidden Leaf Village were in peak condition. 8. Kazuto Kurigaya is an adaptable fighter. Kurito's love of video games flourished because of the difficulties he had talking to people. During his time trapped inside the game world of Sword Art Online, he managed to make many friends. The loyalty he earned from those fighting with him would be beneficial to a village leader. Across the games, he was forced to fight and constantly improve his skill. His experience having to learn new forms of fighting could serve him well if he had to constantly train as a ninja. 7. Kanane Kuran knows how to protect others. Kanane Kuran has lived for centuries in the world of Vampire Knight. As a pure-blood vampire, he possesses incredible powers including telekinesis, transformation, and immortality. His status as a pure-blood meant he had to deal with the politics between vampires and humans. When he sacrificed himself, he displayed a willingness to put the needs of others above his own. He felt his duty to the world was greater than his duty to those he cared about. A willingness to sacrifice oneself for the greater good is necessary for a Hokage. 6. Alphonse Elric possesses the combat and alchemy skills necessary to succeed as Hokage. Alphonse Elric spent some time separated from his physical body, and during this time, his only weakness was the blood seal inside his armor binding his soul to the physical world. His combat skills were praised by his brother, who never managed to beat him in a fight. After training under Izumi Curtis, Al perfected his alchemy skills. His brilliant mind aided him with mastery of a variety of intellectual pursuits, while his kindness and heroics had him often putting others before himself. Al would be able to quickly master the skills needed to lead the village as Hokage. 5. Mikoto Suo would give his life to protect the village. Kei's Red King Mikoto had power over fire and could break through illusions. Though his laziness sometimes held him back. He's used to leading his clansmen with kindness. Mikoto was incredibly compassionate and caring towards the people who fought alongside him, and as a result, his clansmen were incredibly loyal towards him. He would treat everyone like family and do anything to protect the village as Hokage. 
For, Gohan has been trained in mind and body. Gohan was trained to fight by some of the strongest people on his planet. The half scion became an incredible fighter in his own right. Standing shoulder to shoulder with some of the Earth's mightiest defenders. After protecting the world numerous times, Gohan earned the right to call himself a hero. While his father encouraged him to hone his fighting skills. His mother focused on his education. His heroics, intelligence, and fantastic fighting abilities would make him a great Hokage. 3. Korosensei's powers and incredible memory would make him the perfect leader. After Korosensei left his previous life as an assassin behind, he sought a peaceful life as a teacher. Every Hokage has had to make difficult life and death decisions, and Korosensei's professional experience would allow him to effectively perform some of those tough duties. Korosensei revealed to his class that he has a genius intellect and an eidetic memory. His many powers, which include immunity to poison, superhuman speed, and regeneration, would aid him in battle. If Kanoha's best and brightest were able to stabilize Korosensei's explosive condition, the former assassin would likely use his intelligence and skills to help improve life within the village. 2. Tashinori Yagi's heroics would protect Kanoha. Tashinori, better known as his alter ego, All Might, is a pro-hero. Though born quirkless, he inherited one for all from his predecessor. Shimura Nana, and his quirk significantly increased his strength, speed, and stamina. As All Might, he believed in doing his best to save people with a smile on his face. In his prime, he would have easily been able to protect the village, and more importantly, he would lead by example and inspire his people to do the right thing. 1. Itachi Uchiha would have led the village toward an era of peace. From a young age, Itachi displayed an incredible ability to learn quickly, and these advanced skills allowed him to graduate from the academy early. He was a pacifist who desired peace above all else, already well-versed in the politics and history of the shinobi world. The sacrifices he made in his life demonstrated that he was willing to make tough decisions. With his skill, intelligence, and compassionate nature, he would have led the village toward peace, if only given the chance. 